Hey VC, Jack here. Welcome Vinyl Martini. I'm back from my uh, month-long sojourn in France. I have uh, brought back quite a few records, not as many as my last trip, and uh, I am going to show them in future videos. But for now, my first video back, I am going to do a contest entry for Stefan73. He's been in the VC for 13 years, he has done 600 videos. That's really remarkable. Uh, Stefan is a Dutch fellow who uh, basically does a, uh, he shows records that he finds in thrift shops and charity shops in Holland. A uh, really interesting guy, really well-spoken guy. He has a wide, wide interest in music. He, he buys so many different types of genres, it's unbelievable. Uh, he's got a great channel. I'm going to leave the uh, his link in my description below. So if you haven't subscribed to Stefan yet, uh, you should do so. He's almost at uh, 1,000 subscribers. He should have 2,000, 3,000. He's, he's got a great channel. But he wants us to show Dutch albums. And actually, he's pretty so flexible that he, 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 he bends the rules a little bit and you can show whatever you want. But if you have any Dutch records, he wants you to show them. And uh, this is kind of funny because I'm, my parents are Dutch. My parents immigrated from Holland, so I have a Dutch background. I've been to Amsterdam twice, and I do not have that many Dutch albums in my collection, but I am happy to show what I have. And the first uh, record I'm going to show is a band called Focus. Uh, Focus is a four-piece, uh, Thies van Leer on organ, piano, and flute, Jan Ackerman on guitar, uh, Serial Haberman on bass and Pierre van der Linden on drums. And they were a prog rock jazz outfit. Very, very talented musicians. And they, uh, you might recognize the name because they released a funny little ditty called Hocus Pocus. It's got a kind of whistling, yodeling thing in it. It's really catchy. It got a lot of, uh, got a lot of airtime actually. And uh, on the basis of that song, I think they were able to tour North America as a solo act. I know I saw them in Massey Hall in Toronto in 1972. I believe this is a 1972 release. Um, they were fantastic, actually. Uh, they did, of course, they did uh, Hocus Pocus as a finale. I don't consider that their greatest songs at all. Uh, Moving Waves is a great song. Focus 2 is a great song. Eruption is a fantastic song. That's the whole side, too, on this one. Uh, anyways, this is Focus, uh, Moving Waves. And in 1973, they released an album called In and Out of Focus. Same lineup. Uh, great cover of them. I probably, I, I don't actually know where we're shot. Probably Amsterdam. Could be Utrecht. Uh, looks like Amsterdam, uh, the back cover. Canal looks familiar. Uh, 1973, In and Out of Focus. Uh, did not have any annoying little joke songs on it. Great little record, um, in and out of focus. In 1973, they released this, which I've always kept in its plastic cover, but this is Focus 3. In the same year, they released another double album. Same lineup, same band. Uh, it's great songs on here. Sylvia is fantastic. Answers, questions, questions, answers is good. Uh, Anonymous 2, part 1, and Anonymous 2, part 2. To conclusion are great. Uh, is this part? I think part of it is live, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it's all studio work. I haven't played this in a while. I am going to play it tonight. Uh, Focus 3 by Focus. I also have, in 1973, Jan Ackerman released a solo album. He is the guitarist for Focus. And this is more, I think, more classically prog uh, Related, he's a great guitarist, by the way. Fantastic, very underrated. He doesn't get mentioned at all in the VC for some reason. But uh, I've got this one autographed by uh, Sasquatch. <laughs> uh, so there you go, Jan Ackerman. And moving on to the next band. Uh, of course, Focus is a big Dutch band. Uh, they got worldwide fame. And I guess the biggest uh, Dutch band that I have in my collection is Golden Earring, and this is a French pressing of their 19, I think a 1971 album, uh, it's Eight Miles High. They did a Eight Miles High, 
a whole side of Eight Miles High. Did a fantastic rendition of Eight Miles High. This is uh, this is the, the song that first brought Golden Earring to my attention. Um, the rest of the record on side one is Landing, Songs of a Devil Serpent, One Huge Road, Every Day, Every Day's Torture. Um, they've been around forever. I think they're still recording. So this is a 1970 or 1971 French pressing that I have of theirs. Very high quality music. Great rock band. And of course, I have probably their most famous and popular band released in North America. Anyways, this is called Golden Earring. So let's get it. <laughs> let's, let's show it the right way. This is Moon Tan, and of course, it has the hit Radar Love on it. Um, the whole record is great, actually. Every song is great. They like to incorporate horns. They're a very versatile rock band. Um, and like I said, they've been around forever. So there you go. Every, uh, everybody's shown this one, and they're, it's very cheap to find. You can find this from two to five bucks. Golden Earring Moon Tan. And from 1982... Another record that's very easy to find. This is an album called Cut. Uh, I don't know enough of the band to to talk about the uh, the band changes and the lineup changes, but uh, this is another good album. Incorporates horns, uh, rock elements. They're a four piece, so uh, yeah, they've been going forever. Fantastic, golden earring, and uh, just has reminded me to be to, to be on the lookout for golden earring records. And my, not this last trip, but the trip before I was in Amsterdam for a week in May, and I bought a lot of records in Amsterdam record stores, and I bought records in Utrecht, all over the place. But this is the one Dutch album that I brought back with me, and I've never heard of this band. It's a band called The Tapes, and the record is called On a Clear Day. It just caught my eye. It's a great shot of uh, a Gabon, I think I... I I think it's a good one. Uh, Jumping from tree to tree. It's on Passport Records. It is released. It was released in 1984, I think. Um, really hard to find information on this band. There's not much in Wikipedia at all. But it is post-punk, uh, new wave music. I thought it was really influenced by um, Talking Heads. It really reminded me of Talking Heads. But Talking Heads... Uh, really influenced a lot of bands in the way they wrote. Uh, just sort of the pacing of the songs and the singing of the songs uh, reminded me of Talking Heads. But nevertheless, it's still, it was still a really fun album to listen to, and I'm really glad I picked that up. That was five euros, and it's a, it's a Dutch pressing. So very happy to pick that up. So there you go. That's my, uh, that's my Dutch collection. Sadly, uh, I wish I had more, but uh, happy to show them. I'm happy I had something to show. So, Stefan, congratulations on 13 years in uh, on YouTube and uh, looking forward to many uh, future shows. There you go. I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.